In this video, I will be demonstrating all features of the application that have been implemented. First of all, the user is presented with a screen that allows them to either log in using existing credentials or register for new accounts as such. I will first demonstrate logging in with an existing account. The credentials here are shown, entered, and then the sign in button is pressed. This widget that is shown throughout the application is a load icon, which displays the progress of any action that requires the user to wait. A user's home page consists of a timeline and an action bar. The timeline consists of all tweets and retweets that the users he or she follows have made. Each tweet has embedded interactions, which are shown by clicking on the tweet. These possible actions are either to retweet it, reply to it, favorite it, or view the replies that have already been made to this tweet. This tweet, for example, has more than three replies. So to view all the replies that have been made to this tweet, a Show More button is clicked. The action of creating a new tweet is accompanied by this button on the action bar which pops up a new dialog, allowing the user to create a tweet. A user can then navigate to other parts of the application, such as their profile, messages, lists they are subscribed to, or log out. The user's profile consists of their profile picture, their name, their bio, and the tweets and retweets they have made. A user can edit their bio by simply clicking on it, where a dialog box will appear, and, after editing the bio, clicking on the Done button will reflect the changes in the user's profile. To edit additional user info, an Edit Profile fragment is provided. So if I change my name, for example, to another name, and choose to save my change, the new name will be shown as follows. And if I refresh my timeline, the changes will be reflected as well. Another part of the application is the direct messages. The direct messages activities shows all messages exchanged between other users. Each item in this list shows the last message sent or received. Clicking on an item shows the full conversation. Each message shows a timestamp next to it. I can send a new message as follows. The user can also send a message through this button on the action bar, which includes an autocomplete text box. which is filtered by the user's followers. So if I type any letter, it will show me the people that follow me and allow me to choose one to send a message to. And as shown, the message is successfully sent. Finally, a user can view the list they are subscribed to, where each list shows a timeline of tweets and retweets. These tweets and retweets are only created by this list's members. These have been all the main actions supported by this application. Thank you for watching.